been supporting us all through. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we give you all the honor. Father, we give you all the adoration. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Wherever you are around the world, join me this evening as we begin to worship the name of the Lord. Say, Lord, we thank you. Father, 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 we thank you. There is no one like you. You are the Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. Ancient of days. Be glorified. 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 There is no one like you, Lord Jesus. Awesome God, we thank you for this great month of blessing. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Wherever you are around the world, join me as we celebrate the name of the Lord. Give God all the glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we give you the glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Second Kings chapter two. Second Kings chapter two. We're gonna read from verse. Ten, eleven, and twelve. So he said, mm -hmm. "You have asked a hard thing. You have had a hard thing. Nevertheless, nevertheless, if you see me when I'm if you see me when I'm cut off, it shall be it, it shall be yours. So you. yeah. But if not, if it not, shall not be. Go to verse twelve because of time, please. And Elisha said, Elisha said, so Elisha saw it. Yes, and he cried. He out. saw it." And he cried out. What did he say? My, my father, father, my father, my father. Go ahead. The chariot of Israel. The chariot of Israel. And his horsemen. And his horsemen. So, so he rose him no more. He rose him. He saw him no so more. No, no. Yes. And he took hold of his own clothes. Yes. And tore them. And read it. Yes. Into two pieces. Yes. But the thing. He also took up of the mantle of Elijah. That what? That had fallen from that him. That fell from him. And went back. Yes. And stood by the. Amen. And stood. The mantle fell from him. One thing I've come to understand in life, if you give excuses, you will never see results. If you are the type of person that what? Give. That give excuses, you will never see results. Elijah did not drop the mantle, but the mantle what? Fell. You have everything needed to be everything that you want to be. The mantle fell. The mantle fell. The mantle. You want to pray to the Father? Every mantle needed for my next level of blessing, I receive it today. Amen. 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 <laughs> Elijah could have just looked aside and said, no, I didn't see it, I tried. But he saw it when his master disappeared and the mantle fell. Today, every spirit needed, the spirit of the just man make perfect. The spirit of our fathers that made things to work in life, in this world, will come upon you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever you are right now, join me in. As we begin to demand for the mantle of our fathers. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we stand here this evening and we demand and we request and we put a demand upon life that everything needed to receive from the spirit of our father, today we get it. Today we get it. 
Today, we get it. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 The mantle will fall. In the mighty name of Jesus. The mantle of our great fathers in faith shall fall. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. You pray, Lord, let the mantle of wisdom fall upon me. Let the mantle of financial freedom today fall upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Gabriel Oswan de Lebre Gitana Borosha. Lady Katala Shatara Bala. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. As we are praying, so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We pray today for the mantle of our Father. The mantle will come upon us. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please take your seat. Holy Spirit, have your way. And prove to the devil today that you are the master. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We have been discussing on the subject of mysteries. It's a month of Abraham's blessing in our mind from Genesis 12, 1 to 3. Then now the Lord has said to Abraham, Get thee out of the country and from thy kindred and from the father's house unto a land that I will show you. Verse 2 said, I will make you make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Somebody say that's me. Yes. Verse 3 said, I will bless them that bless you and cause them that cause thee, and in thee shall all the family of the earth be blessed. Inside of you, all the family of the earth. So, greatness of generation uncountable or infinity is inside of you. That greatness is a function of your connection to the blessing that God has made available for you. You shall remember the Lord your God for the sin that give you power for wealth. Blessing. Amen. Amen. And we have been doing this teaching series titled, I am walking in the footsteps of, of Abraham, Isaiah chapter 51, verse 1 to 2. Today, we shall end up on this topic, which is the last Sunday of the month of June. The topic is called, or I've titled it to be, Understanding the Transference. Understanding the Transference of the Blessing. Understanding the Transference of the Blessing. Understanding the transference of the blessing, and the subtitle is going to be the mystery of transference. I think, um, if I may recall vividly, we have talked about the mystery of instruction, the mystery of giving, uh, we've talked about the mystery of uh, what other mystery have we talked about? Let me talk about three of them before now. If you remember, I think I can find it. If I can, I uh, will show you, but I know we talk about the mystery of instruction. What is an instruction for you? The mystery of giving, the mystery of giving an instruction. And on a Wednesday, we have been talking or been sharing on the subject of I am blessed beyond measure. So this morning, I, I concluded it with that same teaching. It was powerful. If you have not watched it, it's on YouTube. I am blessed beyond measure. I said, why am I saying I'm blessed beyond measure? I'm blessed beyond measure because of what? I'm under the favor of, of, of Esther and a lot of it. You, you need to watch the video. It's so powerful. Amen. Today, understanding the transference of the blessing. Understanding the transference of the blessing. Anything of value is not free. Holy Spirit, have your way and prove to the devil that you are the master. Shut down every kingdom of hell. And let every spirit that is not of you disappear right now. Amen. Holy Spirit, we give you access to do that which you can do. 
in Jesus' mighty name. And at the end of it, we'll be bound to give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Anything or everything of value is not free. I've learned it a long time ago when I started learning about life in 2008 that uh, every good thing is not free and every free thing is not good. If you don't pay for it, doesn't mean it's free. That means somebody has a responsibility for your liability. In 2010, I learned these two words that they are different. Not for sale is not equal to free. <laughs> what did I say? Not for sale is not the same thing as free. Not for sale because the person that produced the product or the person that is offering the product has taken every responsibility or some people sponsor the person. Like for example, if I write a book, and I want to make the book free. And I speak to some rich people and I say, okay, donate this. You want to make sure we hand over this book to one million people. Donate one million dollars. I'm going to give it to one million people. So when you write on it, it's not for sale. Doesn't mean we are not collecting a cash value or physical cash from you. It does not indicate that the cost of production of the book or the mental capacity that put the book together is free is for free. So what I'm talking about, not for free, not for sale, is not the same thing as what? Yeah. As free. Jesus Christ said, those who follow him and believe in him, he said, the work that he do shall they do also. John chapter 14, verse 20, verse 12. He said, Very, 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 I say unto you. You know, I love passion, passion. It is how I put it. He said, I tell you this timeless truth. I love it. He said, the person who follow me in faith, believing in me, will do the same mighty miracle that I do. Even greater miracles than this because I go to be with my father. So we live in a world where Jesus is no more present on the earth. But everything that he has done, he has given it into, he has put it into us. It has been fired into our being, in our DNA, that we can do the same work and much more. So I'm talking about, if Jesus Christ did not beg on earth, where is your begging coming as a believer? He said, only the work that he do, shall we do what? Also. Look at how the living Bible puts it. It's an insolent truth. I tell you, anyone believing in me shall do the same miracle. I have done, and even greater ones, because I'm going to be with my father. Message by just said, the person who trusts in me will not only do what I'm doing, but even greater things, because I am on my way to my father, I'm giving you the same work to do that I have done. I'm giving you the same work, the same work of prosperity in part. The same work of greatness in everything that you can imagine in Jesus. The same thing you can do. But it comes with a, with a secret. What we what we happen if you have been seen believer not trusting in the which riches of unbeliever again? Understanding the mystery of transferring of blessing. If you are talking about the blessing of God. How did Abraham go to where he was? God will give us understanding. John 20, John 20, 22. John chapter 20, verse 22. He said, when he had said this, he prayed on them, and he said unto them, Receive ye, Holy Ghost. Anything of value must be passed down to you. <laughs> Anything of value is not free, yes? It must be passed down to you. If you think you want to get it by yourself, that means God wants to break the protocol. Everything that you need in life is in the hand of those people that you need to go around after. Greatness is not... God will not go back to factory to create anything. Even when he needs to, it has to be by the impartation of one. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. What are we saying today? Greatness is not free. Greatness must be imparted. God has given to some people. Even Jesus, before he led, he prayed upon them. I said, receive Holy Spirit. What's Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit is the gift of the Father needed by men to live a fruitful and fulfilling life. Holy Spirit is the gift of the Father. Holy Spirit is the gift of the Father imparted by God needed on the earth for a man to live a fulfilling life. Praise the Lord. 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 15. I will read it earlier. Look at what happened. When the young prophet, they saw, the one prophet of Jericho, when they saw what happened between Elijah and Elisha, they exclaimed. He said what? He said the spirit of Elijah rest upon Elisha. And they went to meet him and greeted him respectfully. You cannot command the same respect if you have never been imparted. That's what I'm saying. I live in America where people think everything will happen just because they labor. No. Everything will happen just because you have a certificate. No. Everything will happen just because you live in America. No. Everything that wants to happen must be passed down from God to Jesus, from Jesus to Holy Spirit, and to Holy Spirit to our fathers in faith. You got to understand this. God will not break protocol for you. You need to understand. Hosea chapter 12, verse 13. Hosea chapter 12, verse 13. Hosea chapter 12, verse 13. He said, And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. So, preservation of a nation is not a function of who is people leading. It's what is by the hand of a prophet. Somebody say, Hand of the prophet. Somebody say, Hand of the prophet. That is why we live in the world that people within a disregard. Generation that have value for leaders. They have no dignity in following anointing. They believe, no, if, you, no, no, if God can give it to you, he can give it to me. No, it does not work like that. There will never be a Moses without, there will never be a, what is it? Joshua without a Moses. There will never be a root without a Naomi. Esther wouldn't have been there without Mordecai. The apostle wouldn't have suffered without Jesus. Did you see the line? Did you see the line? <laughs> Show me who is leading you, who is speaking for you, who is recommending you, and I can point to you the future that you are going. That is why the devil will make you, you know, I saw somebody today, a very respected person, but when I was growing up in public speaking, I took, I took some classes in, his, in his school. And he said, this name, I'm trying to call him to talk that what he said today was wrong. Let me tell you something. There will never be a time that you publicly dis disagree with your teacher. I'll say it again. Don't ever let it be a time that you what? You publicly, I'm not saying you should not disagree. You what? Publicly. Anytime you can stand so that you try to disagree with your boss, with your teacher, with those who impart, I'm not talking about inspirational speaker, I'm not talking about motivational speaker, I'm talking about impartational prophet. They carry transgenerational blessing. There is, that person will say, hey, this pastor has blessed me, this pastor has blessed me, and he got to David Hillcoat, and he said, no, the faith of my father, and he said, even though I dis, I, uh, I disagree with what you are teaching right now. I'm still going to support you. I say, what? What is the meaning of that? Anytime you can pick point to the wrong of your master publicly, you have lost the connection. Praise the Lord. Let if you are not disciplined in mount, your future is not in, in view. If your mouth can never be closed, your two lips can never be closed. You can freely talk. You have signed off on, on any disgrace. The most dangerous person you can deal with is the person who, who doesn't talk. Praise the Lord. You know, people just think life will just happen. I just, the, um, what do you call it? If you have never watched this uh, video and you're on YouTube, 
Please try and watch it. There's a video we just released, I think two days ago, yesterday. I call it the test spirit that rules the world. Whatever you are watching, but go and watch it. The test spirit that what? That rules the world. The test spirit that rules the world. And one of the said, I said, if you meet Pastor Ineche, meet Pastor um, Ibiome, meet Bishop Abiyoye, meet Bishop Aremu, and ask them about Bishop David Ereko. And I said, I continue. I said, if you ever have a chance to meet Bishop, Bishop, Abi, uh, Bishop uh, Oyelepo, I said, ask him about Kenneth Yegin, about Kenneth Copeland, about T.L. Osborne, about late Benson Dowser. Let me tell you something. If you are not coming out from a loins, you will never make the list. God did not call me to teach people simple things. He said, teach my people the secret things of God. My secret things, then you will raise king as queen and queen, so they will what they will reign on the earth. If you can never be traceable to anyone that have successfully passed through the earth, you will, if you are not coming out from a loins from somebody loins, what about you can never make the list. Those who make the list are product of loins. Mm. I will tell you the way it is. Some people, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, that the intention of the devil will not come to pass your life. When you are about to eat your blessing, and there we come. Uh, uh, no. This person was, he put picture of anybody there, the picture there. There will never be a time, that time will not come, that I say I disagree with him. Not even publicly. Somebody say, I'll leave you here. by a prophet, Hosea 12 13. By a prophet. By your. Your, your greatness is not in view until you can lay hold on somebody's loins. That's one of the things I try strongly. They kill their prophet. They disregard the spirit of God in their midst. They shout. He said, this is the spirit of God. This is the God that has come to us in the line of men. Amen. Any time, if you don't understand impartation, you can never make new, you can never lead the next generation. If you don't have value for what? Divine impartation, you can never take the lead or lead the next generation. I know, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> There's something I don't want to say. Second Chronicle 2020, please. Second Chronicle 2020. He said, hey, listen to this, O Judah, the inhabitant of Jerusalem. He said, believe in the Lord your God, you shall be established. So establishment is in the hand of God. Continue, please. He said, but believe in his prophet, what? So you will prosper. Prosperity is not in the hand of God, it's in the hand of your prophet. Either you believe it or yes, but I will tell you the truth. I see the generation who doesn't have respect for father, who commonize the cancel of their mother. This is the generation that the highs of the bear, the ego of this world will remove their sight. Go and read Proverbs chapter 30. For you to be in back, no devil on earth will never tell you they don't see the blessing upon Pastor Yadija The command of, of, of honor and respect. No devil on earth will commonize the partition of the mantle of the faith that is available for it. I call it the apostle Paul of this generation. You, you can be devil on YouTube or anywhere around the world and talk rubbish. That's why you will never, maybe I don't see it. If I see any negative comment about Bishop, I delete it. I, you forget yourself. My mother told me you will not drive. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm telling you this. Why the United States of America is struggling right now? Because nobody, there's nobody honoring anybody. Everybody is by themselves. Remove honor. You are done. You will go down below six feet. Do you know what Bible said? Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. He said, I will give you pastors according to my, my own heart. We shall feed you. So, pastors are not 
to your mate, I've said it before, any pastor you cannot honor, don't go to that church. That is why every church has what? Entrance and what? Exit. If they don't want you to use the same entrance as exit, go. There is always a door out. What are we talking about? We live in a world people don't have respect for their pastor. They think pastors, you know, people just come up with anybody who can afford data, $100, $100 in Nigeria, they can send comments anywhere. That's why the country are with a cost generation that disregard the prophet. Help me to look for it. Isn't the last, uh, what do you call it? The last verse of Exodus chapter 13. When you don't have honor to whom honor is due, all of you will never come near your dwelling. You will disregard the man of God. You will not take away the pillar of cloud yes? by day or the pillar of fire by night. What are you reading? Exodus 13, the last verse. Okay. I think it's uh, 14, please. It's 14, the last verse. See how God pronounced it. Yes. yes? That, and Israel saw that great. Israel thing. is not a person, it's a nature. Which the Lord did also. They saw what the Lord did. Go ahead. And the people feared the Lord. The people feared the Lord. And believed the Lord. And believed in the Lord. Son. And what? In the servant Moses. Remove a man. You will never see God. <laughs> Remove a man. Eh? From the equation of life. You will never see God. You only Jesus can come to this world without a man. Because he's in charge of men. You are talking about impartation, transference of blessing. You must, for you to be, you must bow for you to be lifted. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's a hard word. But you know what happened? I'm going to say it anyway. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Do you know what it continues? He said, you shall, I will give you a pastor out of my own life. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 15. In Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20 to 21. He said, although the Lord will give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not, shall we, we not take your teacher away from thee. He said, thou, but thou eyes shall see your teacher, and thou hear shall hear a word behind him, saying, this is the way, what? Your teacher has speakers when you are confused. Exodus chapter 23, verse 20. I will send an angel ahead of you. Don't get him angry. He will not forgive you. Let me quickly show you to this to us. Genesis chapter 25, please. Impartation comes from a father. Impartation comes from somebody so God has planted in your life. Genesis 25, verse 6, please. From verse 5, please. Genesis 25. Abraham gave all that. A, uh, don't rush to it. I want you to pay attention to it. Go ahead. And Abraham. Abraham gave all. Gave all. That he had. Underline all. All are given to those who followed. To the real sons. Go ahead. He gave all. Gave all. To what? That he had. To what? To Isaac. If he gave all, what does it remain? All minus something. When all is gone, everything is gone. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Abraham, what? He gave her. Continue reading. But Abraham gave gifts. Underline gifts. <laughs> Gift is just a fraction of what belongs to you. But he gave her. Good follower, good son receive what? Her. But his sons of comfort by what? Receive gifts. Mm -hmm. Write this down. Five nuggets of transference. You want to get the best of life? You want to get the blessing of Abraham? You must understand the secret of transference of blessing. One, anything of value is at a cost. And this cost is not money. You follow with your soul. You follow with your spirit. Invest time, energy, and resources. What you don't follow by heart, you will never get it in your hand. What you don't follow by heart, you will never get I'm here. If any of my mentor coming from Nigeria or anywhere around the world, my wife knows I run with everything. I am dangerously bad. 
intentionally supported and spiritually covered. I <laughs> don't let's talk about it. Number two, anything of value is spiritually attained. It's not a physical something that you receive. That's why the Bible said Abraham gave all. Think about that. If you are not a son, you are not a child of God. Yet nobody you are following, you can never take all. All belong to Isaac. But Israel will take what? Gift. 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 Can you give a gift of everything that you have to somebody? But you can only give all to what? To your child or children. Praise the Lord. Amen. Anything of value is at the cost. Number two, anything of value is spiritually attained. Number three, everything of value is purposely followed. My heart follow hard. Psalm 63, my heart follow hard. If it's not hardly followed, you will never purposely receive it. You must. It is hard. Oh, you know, I was listening to Pastor Biodu. And he said something. He said, any relationship that's not placed a cost on you is not a relationship. It's not a profitable relationship. Write it down. A relationship that is not that is not demanding is not a profitable what relationship. It's not simple. It's simple. There's no other way you can put it. Somebody shout at the video. Somebody shout at the video. So anything of value is at the cost. Anything of value is spiritually attained. Anything of value is purposely followed. Number four. Anything of value is intentionally pursued. Intentionally pursued. And number five, anything of value is determined acquired. You determine to acquire it. Because it, 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 it doesn't drop easily. It. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to quickly show you this in the next five minutes before we go to the other thing. The mystery of two. The mystery of two. If you have ever, ever heard it preached somewhere, you know somebody heard me. There is a mystery, or call it the secret of two. And let me tell you the secret. Every real and good impartation does never have a third person in it. Anywhere, the real impartation, either of power, either of greatness, Either of blessing or cause is within two people. One, the person that is giving it, and the person that is receiving it. It does not happen to cloud. Mm. It's only it will only happen between two people: the giver and what, and the receiver. What are you talking about? I'm talking about a day that Bishop Bilipo was so tired and late. At Bishop Benson, that was a calling. He said, David, meet me in Makodi. Ah, Makodi. He said, Yes, sir. He showed up and he got to his hotel room. He said, Sir, I'm here. He said, So you came? He said, Yes, I came. He said, Go to my bedroom and take a shower. He said, Sir, I have my own. He said, No, go there. And when he came out with his towel, he said, Kneel down today. He knelt down. He said, Today, I've been part of your life, the spirit of on time. Before the need arises, the supply will be waiting. Amen. Things like that don't come easy. Somebody said the mystery of two. Mystery. Nobody was there. When Ruth followed intentionally, determining, purposely with Naomi, nobody was there. Because Oprah turned and what? Left back to his country. Our country. When I'm just trying to give you an example, <laughs> the mystery of two, the mystery of two, that was the mystery. Okay, let me start from Abraham. When, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. When God spoke to Abraham, give me Isaac, Genesis chapter 22, nobody was there. When Abraham was about to kill Isaac, nobody was, nobody was there. That was, the, I wish somebody can get this today. I wish somebody can just click and let it get, let it sink. That was the mantle, the mantle that I Abraham passed to Isaac. 
when he gave his life to his father to meet the demand of God, was the same man to that Isaac want to pass to his son, Esau. But unfortunately, it was breathed by his mother. When the blessing of Isaac came upon Jacob, it was only two of them there. The mystery of two is not crowd. My heart follows. Let me tell you something. If you can easily look at somebody who's supposed to be bless you, you have you have denied yourself of the blessing. That is why the Bible says, children, obey your parents in the law. The blessing of a father and of a mother, you can never get it from a pastor. You can't. You know, people think this thing is just ajabrakajabra. This is the mystery of God. <laughs> it does not be exposed to the Gentiles. It is strictly for those who follow. For those who follow. The mystery of two. The mystery of two. I'm talking to you what I've never been put in the book. When Elijah and Elisha was going, how many people were there? Two. The mystery of two. The mystery of two. This mystery, only one group of people survived it. Who? Only giver survived it. Only givers can survive the mystery of two. Isaac gave his life. When Paul was caught on his journey, listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> when he was caught on the journey, the Bible said in Acts chapter 22, verse 9, he said, They saw the light, but only me hear the voice, I hear the sound. The mystery of two. You know, that's not what I'm preaching today, but I just want to let you know that until you get into the mystery of two, you can never receive the real impartation. What am I talking about? It was practiced during Jesus' time. Matthew 26, verse 36 and 39. When Jesus now wants to pray, when he prayed, he walked away from his disciples. And you know what happened? As he's walking away, no, nobody followed him. That was why they are not the ones that was that saw Jesus Christ first. The woman. Their hearts were so full of Jesus, but they can't follow him so quick, so close. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 36, verse 39 of Matthew 26. He said, said, Jesus led the disciples and told them, He said, Sit here while I go and pray over there. Did you see that? Transferring of spirit is not a function of space, it's a close door. That was why. Elisha told Elisha, he said, as my soul liveth, wherever you go, I will go. The same thing that I would say, your, your people with my people. Do you see that? Transparency of places does not give you space. What do you need to do then? As you round up. What do you need to do to get the transfer of the blessing upon you? One, identify the carrier of the blessing. Identify the what? The carrier of the blessing. Matthew 25 verse 9. Identify the carrier of the blessing. Matthew 25 verse 9. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. The wise answered saying, Yes. No. No. Lest there should be yes. enough yes. for us and you. Yes. But go rather go. to who sell. Who sell? And buy, and for, buy. Yourselves. for yourselves. For yourselves. Take your seat. Take your seat. If you cannot identify this, the, the seller and go buy, you will run dry. You, run, you know, the, you know the, 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 what they call it? The wise and the other what a group of, uh, what they call it? Begging. I'm sending you the money. It's not a function of begging. It's about function of knowing. So much hallelujah. hallelujah. So much hallelujah. hallelujah. How can you receive the impartation of the blessing that we are talking about? Number one, identify the carrier. Go for them. Matthew chapter 25, verse 9. Number two, receive the person of the carrier. Receive their blessing. Receive their person. I mean, receive their person. Receive any time you can identify the wrong of your spiritual father. 
you can identify the wrong of your spiritual leader. You have been stepped away from the blessing that they carry for you. Bishop Edebo still maintain a strong tie with the KA again. Go to KNT again here in Tosa. I've been up on blocking arrow and mention the way they go. They still recommend me. They recognize him. A black man in a white neighborhood. And they know him. <laughs> Receive the person of the carrier. You can identify them and look for them and, so, and see them and say, no, I don't like this one. No, you must receive them. What you don't receive can never follow you. Amen. Amen. You can, when they are running, relate. If you don't take the button and you pick it and you are running, you get the touch line. Will you be counted as a winner? No. You must take the button by until you receive the person who wants to give it to you. What happened? You will never take it. And when you don't take it, your speed does not matter. Because only those who have the button will what? Can become the winner. So many shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Number one, identify the carrier. Number two, receive the person of the carrier. Number three, believe in the ministry of the carrier. Mommy Funka, did you want to say something one day? I cannot forget. He said there's a particular woman in, 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 in Houston here, very close to us here. He said anytime she's in the US, she said, if, he need, if she needs $10,000, that's the person we give to her. He said, that person has blessed her that she, she, she's questioning herself if she's even worthy for that seat. He said, this is what she does. He said, anywhere, 12 noon, everywhere in the world, he has, she has set an alarm and put the person there. It's time to pray for this person. He said, she prayed some dangerous prayer for that person. One of the prayer, Lord, Every enemy of this person becomes the enemy of God. Because he has, you know, let me tell you something. Believing in the ministry of the carrier simply means you are helping the carrier to achieve their purpose. This morning I dictated five things you need to do to get your promotion. Please, I need it when I finish. The answer is there. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Number four, crave for what they carry. So the, 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 the scripture for receive the person of the carrier is Matthew 10, 41. The scripture for belief in the ministry, sorry, in the ministry of the carrier is 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20, and Mark 6, verse 5. And the I crave for what they carry, for what one that they carry. You know, when people see me right now preaching different messages every day, people don't know where I came where, 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 where I learned it from. The man too came on me when I was in Kenya land. I was in choir. Nobody knows me. I'm just pressing in the crowd. Let me tell you something. You can start from the crowd, but end with the crowd. Start from the crowd, but ensure you what? End with the crowd. Help, but this is what I do. Lord, everything that makes for you, let it come upon me. That's what I pray for every day. I say pray for you today. Everything that makes JP, do you need for life? Lord, let it come upon me. That bishop can bishop has done past all this thing I'm doing, preaching every day. What is that? The person that pastored, you know, it was in that me that that same spirit that I go 2007 that I pastored the entire year. Unfortunately, I don't know. My stomach did not show it that I pastored the entire year, but I know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pray for what they carry. Second King chapter 2, verse 9. What do you want? Double portion. What do you want? Double portion. Psalm 63, verse 1 to 3. And have a soul tie. Let your soul tie with them. Anybody that you honor, you I don't care what you want to give me. If you mention anything negative about Bishop David Oedepo, about Pastor Iyadi Jaliyadiwe, about Pastor Koyere Komaya, about Apostle Don Sulemo, I delete you forever. Some people who does not have access to my page or to YouTube or what they call it, uh, to Newton TV, I block you forever. I don't care who you are. Deny your source, you will never be seen again. Deny your source, you will never be heard again. Deny your source. Your generation has gone into oblivion. It's gone into destruction. Deny your source. 
You will never be seen again. You will never be heard again. And you have destroyed the generation coming behind you. No, I am so tired. No matter the ministry God gave us today, no matter where I am today, there's a, <coughs> I don't want to talk about it. This might look like somebody said, No, this sin is dangerous. I said it must be dangerously coveted. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Number six, have a sonship tie. No matter what, anointing does not flow from down up. It flows from what? Up, down. It's not down up. You see the settings? No matter who you are, Pastor Inete can have 100,000 seat capacity today. He still went to what? Submit to his father. You know, I see people Christians that just say, hey, 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 uh, you know, people are just, if you are not in the family tree, you will not understand. You have to understand. No matter the church that Bishop built right now, is still bow to Kenneth Copeland. Is still pay homage to Kenneth Yegin. They still have a soul tie with the uh, best in the house. You, you know, there was a day. If I've ever heard about this story, I think I'm, I'm privileged to share with you. One day, Bishop Edebo was planning to travel. And he does not tell Pastor Yee Adi Jari Adeboe. Pastor Yee Adi Jari Adeboe, okay? One day, you know, anytime your soul is tied to the carrier of your mantle, God will reveal that person to you and you see the danger ahead. Pastor Yee Adi Jari was praying, was praying. Bishop Edebo was about to travel, international travel. And one day, and the Lord told him, hey, go. And do this and do this. Daddy Adebo showed up in Canaan land without Bishop's knowledge and he stepped into where Bishop is living and he just said, Hey, death, I chased you out of this house. I chased out of this house. I chased out of this house. I chased out of this house. He was chasing death. At the... When he finished, he just said, Hey, Bishop, I'm on my way. And he left. That day, Bishop traveled and the plane misandu in the head. Things went out of control. I mean, you know what happened? Bishop just crossed leg. It's not going to happen. Because the spirit of my father. Lot was not consumed with Sodom and Gomorrah. Not because Lot was an easy person. Not like he's a saint. As a matter of fact, God said, the Bible said, he was part of the people at the gate. That means he was part of the leader of that country that's living in him. But because of Abraham, Lot was not killed. You will never know what you are. The, the danger you are giving to yourself if you are not connected to the God or dead people that God has sent into your life. Amen. 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 Why most of you are frustrated right now? When I before I left Nigeria, uh, I did some things. And uh, when I got here under one year, you know what does some people don't know? How could some people will be giving ex uh, giving examples that is not for me? It is not lying. Go to Winner Chapel, Los Angeles, and ask who is this little boy. Go to Winner Chapel, Tossa. They might not tell you. Ask for this little boy. Go to Winner Chapel, Oklahoma City. Ask for this little boy. Go to Winner Chapel. Oh, what is God this place that I'm going to? Montgomery, Alabama. Ask for this little boy. I just spent there for 30 days. The impact was there. Go to Winner Chapel, San Antonio. That was the last Winner Church that I passed on. Go there. I had for this little boy. This is not that brother Dabra. What am I saying? When I go to US, I'm going to get me citizenship. And there's no, where I live in San Diego, there's no winners there. And, and uh, I was just living my life. I was just meditating one day, and the Lord told me. He said, wrote to me. He said, yes, sir. He said, if you forgot what you did that got you here, before you know, you are going down. <laughs> what makes a plane to have a successful flight is not what takes the plane up. It is what makes the plane to, work, to stay up. I said, hey, what is happening? What is happening? And the Lord told me, hey, 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 this is it. I was just praying. And one day I just saw a flyer. If you have ever lived in California, you will know how far California is to himself. I started driving myself, my wife, and our two boys there before we had our girl. 
started driving from what? From San Diego to Los Angeles. Google it. And ask anybody with the day that I've ever failed for nine months or eight months that I go there. May God give us understanding. Amen. May God give us understanding. Amen. You are not weird. I know I can never fail because I have supported people who are successful. People who God told me, hey, no matter what God gave us today, start your own ministry, bring it, I will still forever identify with Bishop Edepo. It led me to the right place. It showed me to be vocal. The faith, dangerous faith that turns things around. The evil spirit that brings open heaven. Are you talking about? I can never forget Apostle John Solomon. No matter what you say about him, it does not matter. He taught me how to pray a fire brand prayer. Pastor Koyo Komaya led me to how to do ministry. This is how to do it. This is how to do it. This is how to do it. I gave my life to Christ in redeem. I can never be disconnected from this place. Forget about it. I'm not a bastard. Bastard! Don't go back to their father. Regardless of where they are. Even the prodigal son. He what? What did he do? He went back to his father. What are you talking about? If you disconnected from your source, you can never be heard. If you are disconnected from your source, you will run dry. And if you run dry and you are not heard, your generation coming after you are gone. We live in a generation where people have no respect for father again. You are, I don't know what I'm speaking to. When you are disconnected from your source, you are gone. You will never be heard again. I am a product of redeem. I am a product of winner. It is in my, is in my blood. Cut me right now. You will see uh, master's place inside of me. You will see Omega Fire Ministry inside of me. You will see winners inside of me. You will see redeem inside of me. Someone shout hallelujah. Someone shout hallelujah. This is not fake. Forget it. This is real. Nobody is connected. They are just living their life anyhow. I saw seed every month for this man of God. It must be done. God will give you understanding. Amen. You know, we have to proceed. We have to go. Let me just give you those six things again. Identify with the carrier if you want the impact of the blessing. Receive the blessing of the carrier. Believe in their ministry. Crave for what they carry. I have a soul tie and I have a sonship. They can't be. The Imagine right now, my father that has been, he died in 2009. My mother died in 2014. And in their death, let somebody just say to me, the one thing is this. You will see, I will put pastor aside and finish you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> people don't know. So let's say this is what I'm trying to say. You say you are a son to somebody and they are sending evil comments on Facebook, on YouTube, and you join them to like the comments. It's a lie. That means you are a bastard. So simple. That's the way to describe it. A son we have... You know what happened? This is what the secret is. No matter how my father is or my mother is, they are my father. They are my mother. My father might not get it all right, but he's my father. Anytime. And you know what happened? If you are 70 and your father is mighty, you are still his son. <laughs> if you are 110 and your father is 130, you are what? You are still a son. A son is forever a son. As long as he keep the family tree. Let me end up with this. Open up your heart to their word. My son, give me your heart. Students don't just pay school fees, they pay attention. If you pay school fees and you don't pay attention, number seven. If you pay school fees and you don't pay attention, you will fail. <laughs> Isn't that powerful? We live in the world, people just they just listen to bring the message and they quickly type amen in it. And after that, ask them what is your pastor preach again? They forgot. Because what happened? Their heart is not open. Anyone that is quick to respond, that person is not a son, is a bastard. God will give us understanding. Amen. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. You know what happened? Let me just give it to the more as a round up today. The mystery of transparency. 
I want you to carry their energy. You know, I, how did I get to U.S.? Maybe some of us don't know. How did I get to U.S.? I will tell you today. I was in a point of state. I was connected online. And Bishop said, in the next two months, he was online. You know, any testimony that you see or hear in Canaan land is, is a fraction of what God has done. Ah. In the next two months, and immediately after the service, I received it. That day, God said, wrote to me, what do you want to give me to make this to come to pass? I said, God, whatever you want. He said, this and this and this. Take your paycheck. Take it. Listen. I was any 10,000 naira then. Ah! May that day never come again. Can you imagine me only get 10,000 naira a month? <laughs> and uh, I had to look for 13,000 to buy because, I, you know, let me tell you something. You can never be rich until you start living a rich life. The life that you don't live, you can never make it. So, I bought a ticket for 13,000. Eh? To go and sow a seed of 10,000. Someone said that's stupid. Right? But you know what happened? I traveled that day and I came and I left back, I think the same day or two days ago, two days after. If I'm you know, driving, if you follow the night bus, you know, they can stop you on the road and take that money. But I decided to fly, I flew. I joined service and on Monday, I flew back to a What am I talking about? That year, that year, that year, 2010. 2010, I think it was in May or July. That was the breakthrough of my life. So when I tell people I gave my life to Christ in 2008, and I started working with God in 2010, this year making straight work with God for one decade. Impactful. It's not fake. Those who know me, in Lagos there, as a youth secretary of my province of uh, youth president, they still see me now. Most of the people who are jabra jabra, they are hiding now. All your enemy will be hide. Amen. I gave Bishop that money. He lay hands on me. Can I tell you something? <laughs> when he lay hands on me, nothing happened. And this is what they said. He said, sir, sir, you gave him your money. After spending 30000 to buy ticket. So you have spent 26000 now. And what happened? So what happened? He said you are blessed. So what, what happened? <laughs> Can you imagine that? He says, that's what the reason just my head. You are blessed. And then we said, so what happened? <laughs> you are about to make a decision today. Then we ask you the same thing. What? What happened? Let me tell you something. Any instant voice after the blessing of God is from the devil. Any loud voice after impartation. It's of the devil. David was anointed and he went back to the bush. David was anointed as a king. It took him 13 years to become the king. He became king of Israel after 13 years. Joseph was sent out of his father's house at 17. Until he got to 30, he never smelled it. Anything of blessing that is instant, be careful of it. 2010, till now. Except you want to doubt, you will see God here. I know what happened. This is just the beginning. More are coming. Then I speak by the anointing of Holy Ghost. If what I'm saying is truly from the heart and nothing but the truth, I decree in the next two months from now, you will hear a good news beyond your imagination. Amen. This is not. Adabracadabra. I have seen God. My wife said I should not say, but I'm going to say, write one million naira check and give to a church. I can't believe it. Me, dad, oh, you don't understand. The first year of that I gave was 5,000 naira. And we have given $5,000 many times. In my lifetime, I'm still going to write a million dollar check. Mm -hmm. You are not like it, but I'm going to do it. What are you talking about, Rotimi? That's a lot of money. That is your cup of tea. What God can do, no man can stop him. It's God that will do it through a vessel. If you are open, God can do anything. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
open up your heart to the word of the career that you are, you are, you are believing God for. Number eight, honor your career. Honor the career of the amount, the, the, the blessing that you want. The impact that you want. Honor, honor, honor. You know, one of my mentors from Nigeria, when he comes, I have cooked for them by myself. Can you imagine me? Very soon I'm going to share my, the soup that I cook. <laughs> if you want to get everything, you have to become all things. I want to read. Person, I became all things to all men that may win some. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Bless honor them. I have carried them. Me, I will not let nobody go to, 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 to warm up with my wife. But when the wife or my mentor come, I will start pushing cards like this with them. If you don't follow them, nothing great will follow you. Everything that is of blessing comes with the cost. Praise the Lord. Honor the career of the blessing that you want. Honor them. Honor them. Honor them. Honor them. Honor them. Mark 6, 4, 2 Kings 3, 11 to 12. And number 9, let your heart be perfect. 2 Chronicles 25, verse 2. Don't do it because you want a show. Do it because that is the process. Mm -hmm. Don't do it because you want a blessing. Don't sow a seed because you want a blessing. Sow it because you want so seed for God to be able to work with something. You know, how could people be believing God for anything? You can't pray. You can't fast. You can't sow seed. What do you want God to work with? Anything that the head speak against, it is what God needs to use to bless you. They speak against tithe, you don't tithe again. They speak against offering, you don't give offering again. They speak against prophet offering, you don't give it again. Last week Sunday, go and check it. The mystery of giving. I will not talk about it again. Read it. Second Chronicles 25, verse 2. And he did what was right. He did all that is right. In the sight of the Lord. In the sight of the Lord. But not with the royal heart. But hearts. not with the right heart. Right heart. Right heart. Right heart. When the right heart is not there, <laughs> you will never get the best. You know what happened? Some people live, you are working now, you have never given your own biological parents. You have never given them one dollar. Ah, go and read Genesis 49. When, when Israel was, was invoking blessing on the children, according to what they do. <laughs> according to what? To what they do. God will give you understanding. God will give you understanding. Amen. Number 10. Let your craving be love motivated for God's sake, not for men's sake. Let me tell you something. Everything that comes around goes around. I will say it again. If you allow blessing to go around through you, it's coming back to you. So when you honor, when you respect, when you support, when you identify, ah, ah, how could a pastor a nature who is a medical doctor never have experience about ministry build the largest church in the world now? Is still today follow Bishop Elizabeth publicly identify with him? But we live in the world of America that nobody cares. I, me, myself. That's all they say. Let me tell you something. Do you want transference of impartation of blessing? Follow those 10 things and your life will be changed. Stand up on your feet, everybody. Second Kings chapter 2, verse 4, verse 4, sorry, Second Kings chapter 2, verse 2, verse 4, and verse 6. He said, As the soul liveth, I will not leave thee. I will not leave thee. If you depart from who you're supposed to follow, your blessing is not in view. Abraham followed God until God blessed him with what? In all things. The apostle followed God and the gift of the Father came on them. Ruth, follow Naomi 
until a, a, an external person came to take the blessing of internal people. Amen. <laughs> Joshua followed Moses. The person that is not in the lineage to get to the leadership got it. <laughs> Elijah followed the Elijah. The mantle fell. Can I pray for you? You will never get involved in what will kill you. Amen. Amen. You will never step out when you support to stay put. Amen. Oh, nobody gets it. You will never get out when you support to stay put. Amen. Amen. Don't live a life of social media. Somebody who does not know Bible will be telling you what to do. They call it leader of the free nation. Anyone that is not guided by the word of God is on the pathway to destruction. Hey, I live in America now. So what? I think strongly connected with my spiritual fathers. Strongly connected. Not partially connected. I so see every day. I hear them every day. Hey, enough. Can we turn on the AC, please? Praise the Lord. I pray that the hand of God will be upon you. I will pray that prayer again. You will not step out when you're supposed to stay put. Amen. You will not rehearse when you're supposed to hang in there. Amen. Amen. You will never believe to the blessing and the message that God has sent towards you. Amen. Amen. Let us read Exodus 23, verse 20, as we round up this evening. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Exodus 23, verse 20, please. Behold, Behold, I send an angel. I send an angel before you. Before you to keep you in the to way. keep you in the way. Yes. And to bring you yes. into the place. Into the place which I have prepared. Do you see that? Do you know why you are confused? You are not following. Please, if you are online. The video is out. I call it 10 spirit that rules the world. I have pointed the first five. The part two will be coming maybe tomorrow morning. The person working for us get the video down. They say, as a matter of fact, the rest of the video are out, but there's some changes we need to make to it. You need to go and listen to those, to those spirits. None of those videos was written. I wrote it by myself. You don't necessarily to see the big thing now. Just do the big thing now. When you can do the big thing now, the big thing will soon come. Praise the Lord. Amen. He said, I've given you an angel. Some of you, your pastor is your angel. Some of you, a man of God, you might not need to attend his ministry. It's your angel. So just go there and so. I, I don't go to winners when I read Breaking Financial Archive. That was the day. The spirit of giving entered into me. Success system. That was the day. The spirit of diligence about living life entered into me. I was going to just start then. Remember somebody hear me? You know what I've let us pray. Lord, anyone that you have sent into my life, let me identify them. Amen. Let me follow them. Amen. All these ten things I have given to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will you will put them in practice. Amen. And the transparency of blessing will come upon them. Amen. And remember. In today is the last day. It's a transfer of what? Of the blessings. Let us pray. And after that, I will bless us. And we continue. In the mighty, I need the anointing, please. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I want you to pray. Father, pray that right there. In the mighty name of Jesus, anyone that you have sent towards me, I will not miss them. Amen. They will not miss me. Amen. I will not misbehave. Amen. I will not be separated. Amen. Pray that prayer, everybody. Wherever you are. Pray that prayer. Anyone that you have sent to my life to guide me, according to Exodus 23 22, the son is verse 20. I will not miss them, they will not miss me in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. One day I was listening to uh, Mommy Funke at Dejumo, and she said something. He said, There are some people you should miss, and there are some people you should meet. He said, If you miss those you should meet, you are in trouble. And if you meet those you should miss, you are in problem. <laughs> there is an angel that God has sent towards you. You will not miss them. Amen. You will meet them. Amen. Every demand that is placed on you, that demand will fulfill it. Amen. You know, I did a little bit of economics when I was in the high school, the college secondary school in Nigeria. Until your demand meet with your supply, you will never get to equilibrium point. That's the point. That is a determining point. Everything that you are doing right now, that you think there's no result, no! Do it some more. Write it down. If you have done it to a place of reward, the reward will come. I'm telling you. As I give to all the men of God God sent to my life, Every month, I have people right now that sow a seed into my life every month. I say, God, how did I get here? God said, I think you have me to look for you. I think it's a Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. Thank you, Jesus. He said, I'm coming quickly and my reward is with me. So give to everyone according to their word. And behold, I come quickly. And, behold, I come quickly. and my reward, is, my with reward me is with me. To give every man yes. according to his work. His work. Shall be. His work. Amen. Amen. I want you to pray again. Lord, help me to stay put. Amen. I will not step out. Amen. Help me to what? Stay put. Pray that prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Pray for you, everybody watching online or YouTube. Are you on Facebook? Please pray that prayer. You will never miss those you should meet. And you will never meet. Don't it should be your reward of following him. Wherever you are around the world, it's going to come upon you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Let me tell you something. No matter who you are, if you have never had a connection with God, your real and your good father, no matter who you are seen on earth, nothing will happen. Let me give you an opportunity tonight. If you have not received Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, lift up your left hand up and put your right hand on your chest and say this after me, Lord Jesus, I'm all yours. I thank you for the blessing that you have released tonight and you have connected me with the people that will lead me to my destination. Please, Lord, forgive me of every of my wrongs that want to separate me from you. Give me yet another opportunity to follow you and to follow those who are the angel that you have given to me. I know I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away and all things have become new. I receive the life of Jesus, living my life according to the scripture, not according to the things of this world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 If you have anointing, we're going to pray right now. There is an anointing of transfer. Please, put in this a touch to everybody's hand, please. If you don't have this anointing, no matter what he said towards you, it will never happen. Amen. Amen. As this anointing come upon your head today, everything that you are believing God for, we come speedily to your life. Amen. When David was anointed, a way was open to him. What? In the palace. When Saul was anointed, every lost donkey was found outside that his throne was located. Anointing is a door opener. By this anointing today, May everything you are believing God for begin to be, begin begin to locate you. Amen. Right now, begin to pray and lay that anointing on your head. 
Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, if you can pray in the Holy Ghost, Lika Taba Shatadabalo Shadaba. Ezila Braketo Shalabri and Tale Sotone Beridaba. Rabba e Galanto Zule Shetele Berida Bosa Kataya. Him Braketala Sato de Berida Boshataya. Zebe Hinde Boroto Zalaya Katanaba. Arambo Sotone Berida Bashatanaba. Rabba Le Katanaba no Shalabana. By this anointing, you will not beg again. In the mighty name of Jesus. By this anointing, you shall be connected Amen. to the right people. And the anointing, the capacity of day to learn, to follow them, to believe them, to trust them. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All the people God has sent towards you, you will not step out of their relationship. That relationship, rather you will step in it. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anointing is good, but communion is even better. Condition, communion simply means putting Jesus in what? In your blood <laughs> and in your flesh. It's time for communion. The flesh of Jesus and the blood of Jesus is an indication that Jesus is living in you. As you take the communion today, you will never have a reason to beg again. Amen. God will send efforts of destinies to you. Amen. Beyond your house. Anyone that is only one belongs to you. Nobody ever out what belongs to Jesus. They brought everything needed to him. In the mighty name of God, by this communion, everything that you need, receive it today. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus sets me free from sins and sorrow. The blood of Jesus sets me free. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus sets me free. From sin and sorrow, the blood of Jesus set me free. Amen. 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 One of the ways, one another transfer of the blessing that you need to know is the transfer of giving. If you are not a giver, let me tell you something. You can walk the tutor point. God will never have anything to work with. Seed gives God opportunity to give you abundance. Amen. 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 Why do we give when we come to church? We give <laughs> so God can bless us back in return and to honor God. To honor God to show that we love Him and to give us so God. You can never be you know, the blessing of God. The Bible said what? makes rich and add no sorrow to it. That means it's not the enemies of men that bring blessing. But what? But the blessing of God. Write this down. You are not, you are not blessed because you are rich. You are rich because you are blessed. It is the blessing that provoke what? Riches. It's not riches. That, provoke. that means you can never get the best of life by just what you earn. The king of Sheba and Sheba will bring it to you. And will happen through blessing, through giving, through giving. If you are alive, there is an email on Zell that if you want to sow a seed, but if you are not late, please don't do it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Lift up your seed, God. Let me pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. for as many that are connected with your seed today, Father, bless them in return. Amen. One of the things that you have commanded us that we should not show up in your presence in vain. Why? Emptiness equals emptiness. Until the water pot was filled with water, it will never turn to wine. By this seed today, we receive hundredfold same day return of seed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Because we have given God what to work with to bless us. We will have abundance beyond our imagination. Amen. Are you believing God for a financial breakthrough online, wherever you are around the world? Receive that breakthrough right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, 
shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Please, let us cast our seed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 So tomorrow, we're going to um, start again our prayer. You're going to love it. Twice, 12 to 1 central time. Whatever time it is, help me to convert it. And uh, 6 to 7. Amen. Amen. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 If you are watching online, please help us to know where you are watching from so we can stay connected because we want to make an adjustment. If we know where we are watching from, then we can place some adjustment to things. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us show the goodness. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Amen. God will give you thanks for this month because you have ever to see the end of it. Amen. Not that we are smart, but by your mercy. Amen. Therefore, we return all the glory to you. Amen. And because we have seen the last Sunday in this month, next month, the month of our leadership, the month of dominion, we begin to live in that dominion. Amen. The capacity to live wherever you find ourselves, we receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Let's take that name. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. It is my turn to shine. It's my year of life. By the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, we will rise and shine. Give somebody an iPad. Say, You are shining. Like I said, if you have zeal, that's the email. If you have anything to give towards what God is doing here, be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. You are shining.